Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. Developing here in Tucson, Pueblo High School has had a record number of teachers call out over the past week, and now some classes are being combined just to make sure students have a teacher present. News for Tucson's Daniel McFarland joins us live from the south side with more. Daniel. Well, Sean, for all of TUSD, there's been over 1,800 teachers that have called out. One of the biggest impacted schools is Pueblo High School behind me. There's plenty of students and parents that have their concerns, but the school is saying that they're ready to get back on track after the pandemic is finally over. Over the past week, Pueblo High School has had many classes put in the auditorium, cafeteria, courtyard, and other large spaces to keep their kids in classes, but many students say they aren't learning much in the auditorium, and students we talked to said it just feels like babysitting. One student even said it feels like chaos in the auditorium since there's only two teachers to watch over such a large number of students. In response to the students and parents' concern, the principal of Pueblo Magnet High School released a statement saying, Two days ago, we had a greater than normal staff absentee rate due to the COVID virus surge. With limited substitutes available, the decision was made to combine classes into common spaces to ensure students' education continues. These classes were supported by teachers, complied with all mitigation protocols, including the appropriate use of masks and social distancing. We know this is not ideal, but in the vein of safety and supervision, we feel this is the best alternative under the circumstances. And so it's been tough, not just for the students, but also the teachers here as far as, you know, trying to get these class sizes under control. But with so many teachers calling out and substitutes not being available, it's just very difficult for the school to really have individual classes set up, which is why they're having to do this. But again, they're hoping over the next few weeks that teachers will be returning to school and everything will be back to normal. Sean, back to you.